This and all the ministry that happens at FaithBridge is possible because you committed to go all in. Thank you. My story is a little different than most because I was born Jewish and I had a wonderful upbringing. I went to Sunday school, I learned the Old Testament, I learned all the Bible stories, I learned how to pray, I learned how to be a good person. Um, I was confirmed in Judaism, but then in my young adult I just knew that there was more. For the last few years I've just really, really prayed, you know, please Lord, please help me find this path. There's, if, if there is a path for me to be on to help me find it. One morning I just woke up, I mean I had been studying a lot on my own and I, learning all I could and then I just woke up and I asked my husband, I said, can we go to church? He goes, where do you want to go? And I said, Faith Bridge, because we had some friends that have been there and, and just heard really good things about it. And we went to Faith Bridge that day and then the very next weekend was Faith Bridge 101, so we did that. That's where I met my um, ministry guide there, and we've just become fast friends. My name is Janice, and I first met Leslie Robertson at an FB 101 table. I was the ministry guide assigned to that table, and uh, her story that she told just a little bit of as we introduced ourselves was very interesting. When we finished up our time together at our ministry guide session, we prayed, and I prayed for Jesus to reveal himself to her, and I knew that he would be faithful to do that, and he did. We did Faith Bridge 101, we joined a small group, and small group was wonderful. The first day we walked in, I told them my story, and I just felt this big hug. I just felt so content and like I could ask any question, and it wasn't gonna be, you know, a bad thing. They weren't gonna laugh at me or, you know, think, oh God, she doesn't know the answer. No, you know, they were just really, really good and comforting. And then from there, I joined a discipleship group. I had, was starting a micro group and she was interested in the discipleship process. And so she joined me along with two other gals um, and weekly to go through the discipleship essentials. And uh, we just really got to know one another in the discipleship process. It takes more than one person. And I think it takes more, you know, it takes more than two people. You know, it's got to be done in community. Community has made all the difference, I think. It's fun. It's just fun to be able to share with somebody um, and help them to love Jesus more. I took First Communion, my First Communion, on December 24th last year, and that was when I accepted Christ. I just, I just knew in my heart it was the right thing to do. I just, I knew that, um, Jesus was part of me, was going to be part of my walk forever, and, and it was time to, to take that step to actually partake in communion. And when I stood up, my husband was like, well, okay, because he, he didn't know either. And um, we went up there together, and, and I took communion, and then I sat down, or I kneeled, and I prayed. And I just, I just started shaking, and then the tears just came. My husband's like, are you okay? Are you okay? And I'm like, I'm fine. I was just, I was just, I think I was just overjoyed in the moment. And in Judaism, you learn to pray, and you pray to God, but you don't have a relationship with God. And that's, that's what I have found through all of this, is to have the relationship. Is, it, I mean, that someone can care that much about you. Her faith was just blossoming and growing. I got to be at her baptism. It was just a joyful time, watching her, the culmination of her faith just a feeling or just a look on her face of, I did it. When I went under the water for this moment, I was like, oh my God, I didn't take a breath. I mean, I'm a swimmer, why did I not take a breath? All of a sudden I couldn't breathe. And I, and I realized later that maybe it was the old self dying. And then when I came up, I was fine and I was so happy and I was so joyful. And she has continued to grow. She's like a sponge and she just, uh, she loves the Lord. Now my husband and I are more evenly yoked and we have neat conversations after the message and everything, so it's, it's just been wonderful.